Hi everyone, welcome back. I have a Dollar Tree haul for us to enjoy, hopefully together. I have a little orange kitty down here rubbing against my black jeans, of course. Why does he have to do that every time? Just to show me that I, he loves me and that I love him. So I've got my haul in front of me and to the right. And I'm just going to feel and pick things up and talk about it. So my goal is to get this in under nine minutes. It's a challenge for me because I usually end up chit-chatting away and telling you guys stories. And I just want to try to get it done quicker so that I can prove to myself that I can. Okay, so let's get started. Thanks for coming. And if you're new, I hope you'll come back. And if you are not new, hopefully we have talked before. And I love your comments and I love your suggestions and just your friendliness. So thank you so much for joining me and um, just recommendations and giving me a positive feedback as well. I really do appreciate it because it helps me out a lot. Okay, so the first thing I found is this Jot Decorative Tape. We've seen this for the last couple weeks now. I got the one with the flowers on it. It's really cute. This one has stars and some kind of little sparkle explosion type, like maybe, I don't know, sun or something. This one is the one with the cupcakes, the donuts, the um, berries, and a couple of emoji guys, I guess. And then this one has the hearts. I was surprised to find those because usually we don't get cute stuff like that. Um, I've actually had these ones for about two weeks. So I just forgot to haul them. Now I have some stickers. And these are really nice stickers, but first I've got the cutesy stickers. Let's get those out of the way. I do like My Little Pony, but these are more to give to give away, not to use as much. So you get four sheets of these exact pictures. These I thought were very, very nice. They reminded me of boxes of chocolate, kind of vintage -y, kind of embellishment-y, and then we have this one which is gorgeous with the birds. I love that. So cute. Definitely couldn't leave that one at the store. Um, I have some horse showmanship type lasers. Laser stickers, I mean. That's really nice. You get 50 all of these coming up are 50. This is the one with the little cactus faces and the frogs and the snails. That one is ador adorable. I was going to say adorable or adorable, which is darling and adorable mixed together. This is little knights and princesses. I thought that was really sweet. And then we've got robots here. I don't know if my son will want these, but he may want to create a little storyboard with those. So I thought I would get those and then just have them in case he doesn't want them. Somebody might want them. I think I tend to go to the stationery section first when I go in the Dollar Tree. So I got four mini notebooks. Four of them. That's pretty cool. So it says, be your own hero. And on this side it is, be your own hero, be happy. You are... I think it says, you go girl, trust yourself. I need these little reinforcements, so this is for me. I'm going to open it up and see what the other two inside that you can't really see are. So this one doesn't have any writing, it's just that nice pattern. And you do you. Oh, that's nice. I like that. It's a really nice colors. So I'm happy with that one. Super awesome that I could get it for a dollar. Uh, sticking with that same area, I found this scented ruler. It is strawberry scented. With these cool dudes with their glasses. Hey! Yo, Diggy Dog. I don't know what they'd be saying, but they're cool, and I got this for my son, who needs it for school because he, um, it's he won't take it to school, but he'll do it at home. It's this saying and phrase thing. I think I mentioned it in one of my previous hauls uh, a couple days ago, where you have to draw certain things and you have certain rules, and you can't just use stick figures. So if they say draw a room, draw furniture, draw walls they need to be pretty straight. So I got that for him so he can do his straight furniture and straight uh, walls. I got a letter opener so that I don't have to break my nails or get paper cuts when I'm opening letters. I didn't think I needed more sticky notes, but I sure do. So I got from Jot this 100 count Follow Your Heart 
It Knows the Way. That's really sweet, and it's got some lines. I do like lines. That's cool. This one doesn't have lines, but it says Create Your Own Sunshine. You've probably seen this before. Also, 100 count. I'm going to have to figure out this light here because it's definitely giving off a glare. I found this for my friend if she has not already found this. This is for the planner set, but I have not found very many items from the planner set, so I only found these two. The book band, whatever, and then these sticky notes right here. You get 50 of them from Three Birds Design Studios. I did finally found the... Tr finally found. I did finally find, or I finally found, the trinket tray. And as I look at the back right now, I'm seeing the answer to the question. Uh, some people were saying, is it a leaf or is it a feather? I thought it was a leaf. Yes, I know that there are a lot of little patterns, you know, on this. And it looks like a feather, but for me, it was a leaf. And I didn't want to let that go until I really knew. Greenbrier calls it a feather trinket tray. So the mystery is solved. But if you want to say it's a leaf, go ahead and say it's a leaf. I think it's fine. I did find some of these animal figures. Is this a gazelle? Is it an ibis? Ibex? Ibis? Ibex. One of those. Um, I heard someone call it a jackalope. I don't know. Look at this little tail. So I don't know. And then got the horse. Some of them are scuffed up a little bit, so I'll have to repaint them, I'm sure. And then I did get an elephant. I kind of want another elephant, but these have been very hard for me to find. I've been searching and calling. I got these two and signs, and I'll decorate with these if I can ever, if I ever get the chance to get married again and I'm not too old to care about this kind of decor, I think I would like to use that. Or gift it, who knows, but I think I'd like to keep it for me and maybe, maybe I'll meet a really great man that I'll want to uh, display those about us, about our marriage. Maybe when I'm an empty nester, my boys, you know, I only have six more years or so with the older one and about eight more years with the younger one, so we'll see. Less than that, actually. Maybe more like five and seven. I don't know. I got these drawer organizers. organizers. I'm trying to change the subject because I don't like the thought of my boys being too old to stay at home. That's really sad. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use these for, but it's 6.75 inches by six by the same by 2 inches deep. I got this. I don't really like the Kappa books or the designer series, but I do love tea cups and tea kettles, so I had to get this. I do like the design and the details in this. It's pretty nice. It's not mostly ladies. I think that's one of two ladies pictures of ladies in the book. <clears throat> This is a weird purchase for me, and I know I'm coming up on nine minutes, so that's not really working out for me. Um, I'm not going to make my challenge, darn it. But I got this because, and this retails for $20. I got this because um, it's kind of nostalgic. When we were little, my parents would order plants and trees, and then they would give us the catalogs to cut up and make collages with the beautiful pictures. And so I want to do this with my sons. Um, I don't know what they think is pretty, what they think is a nice view or flowers or anything. But I think we're going to do placemats and then we'll laminate them in construction paper so we can have coordinated pla coordinating placemats. It's been a long day. So that's kind of a weird purchase, but I'm loving that I found this because there are plenty of pictures to choose from in here. And I just kind of want to learn what my boys think is pretty. So here we go. This is Woundabout. I saw a couple of YouTubers hauling this. Woundabout um, is about a group of kids who have a dangerous mission to fulfill and it looks like some of them have to convince the people in the village or in the town that change is not a bad thing. I'm not sure what else it is, but it says it's an extremely inventive, whims whimsical, captivating story that combines big ideas and intriguing characters. So that should be fun to read. I'll probably read it to my boys. They like it when I read to them. They read a lot, but um, at night, sometimes when they're in bed, I like to sit in the hallway and read to them. This is a book for me to enjoy. I don't know her. I probably should know her, but she's a makeup artist. Mally Ronkel or Ronkow, I don't know. 
Um, <clears throat> this book hardcover was m released in 2014 and it has over 200 pages. It retails for 25 flat in the US and 30 in Canada. What I like about it as I was going through is that in every chapter there are beauty tips and I've already learned a couple things just from skimming it in the store. That is it you guys. I stayed close to the nine minute mark. Didn't quite make it so I'll be trying to, you know, I won't give up. <laughs> I'm going to keep on trying to do shorter videos because I know we're all very busy and we like to get great content but sometimes we don't always have the time to stick around and listen to the whole thing. If you are still here please let me know what is your favorite most favorite item to grill so if you're going to go to a barbecue or host a barbecue or you're awesome at grilling or you have someone in your family your husband anyone it's not just a guy thing to grill but I know a lot of men like that and enjoy that however I don't have a man and I would love a grill and I would love to learn how so anyway what is your most favorite thing to grill Tell me in the comments, please. Um, is it pineapple? Is it zucchini? Is it broccoli? What do you like to do? Like, do you like to put things in foil and put sauces on it and then stick it on the grill? So for me, I really, really love pineapple and I really, really love um, bison burgers. That is buffalo. So delicious. Or bison uh, brats, I think it's called, like hot dogs, but they're like thicker and bigger. So anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for coming by and I hope to see you really soon. Take care.